Hi guys, welcome to the X Power Podcast, episode 9. I'm your host, Mark McCurdy, aka Big Angry Dad at you too. Um, so, on today's show, um, I'm going to be spending about the first hour or so um, looking at Saints Row the Third Remastered. Um, it's a, a game I'm playing for review right now. Um, and because it's a remaster, um, and it, it's far more than than um, your traditional remasters, you know, Spearsoft, I'm going to go through sort of all the improvements they, they've made visually to the game. Um, so rather than doing like a traditional review of it, I thought I would do more of a deep dive um, during the podcast so we can look really look at um, all of the great visual upgrades um, that you're getting with this with this new version of the game. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me. Um, obviously, Saints Row the Third, the 360 PS3 era game, uh, 2011. It's been remastered. Um, it's personally my favourite entry in the series, and I, I really like Saints Row. Um, you know, I, I loved all, all four of the of the games, um, and uh, this one is the best it's it's fun i mean they're all fun you know what i mean but this one just is like central personified they really leaned into the kind of over the top uh wackiness the crude humor um that you know the series is known for um i'm gonna try and go do my best to kind of cover all the areas that you get in a traditional review as well um because you know i, I realize obviously we're gonna have some Newcomers who are looking at this game, thinking about picking it up, so I'm gonna try and um, service both audiences um, as best I can. Um, so uh, yeah, so uh, Central the Third Remastered uh, is available right now. It's on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. There was also a Switch version that came out last year, uh, last August, I believe it was. Um, but although that that has um, you know its own improvements, um, obviously you know the Switch's power and everything isn't quite nearly as, as impressive as this one is. Um, so yes, Spirosoft um, have been remastering this, and Volition uh, recently said on Twitter that they didn't really have anything to do with this remaster. Um, they've been hard at work on their new game. Um, which, you know, Saints Row 5 has been announced. We haven't really seen it yet. Um, so we're hoping, you know, that it will turn up um, during Summer Game Fest. Presumably at, like... I'm going to stop driving because I can't do that and look at my notes at the same time. Um, yeah, but presumably that's going to turn up during Summer Games Fest. Um, I would assume during either um, Xbox or PlayStation's e3 style video you know when they're going to show the new games coming to xbox one ps4 and of course the new consoles uh, xbox series x and ps5 um but sticking with saints row the third remastered then so um i've got um a review notes here um talking about now a lot of these i've got to be honest right i don't understand all of the terms but i'm just going to go through them um so you've got uh, global enhancements. They've got built a new lighting engine with physics-based rendering uh, and global illumination. So I mean, you can see um, the kind of lighting. I'm going to try and steer out of here just to, <laughs> so I can spin the camera about. Um, so you can see, you know, the improvements. I put a headlight out as well. Um, you can see the lights, um, how they reflect with the world and everything. Um, is much much more improved uh, they've got new ambient occlusion methods three different ambient occlusion methods um, which when they're combined create the occlusion for big medium and small details yeah so you know they've used um, you know current tech and stuff to make um, the details stand out more right um, They've got TAA and FXAA. So, uh, oh, anti-aliasing. 
<laughs> so I don't, I don't know a lot of these terms. Um, yes, yeah, it's it's, it's anti-aliasing, um, and they've, they've been into implemented to the new rendering, right? Um, again, if if you probably a PC gamer, you maybe understand a lot of this a little bit more. Um, but um, but yeah, it's impressive stuff anyway. Um, I do enjoy talking about this stuff, and I do enjoy learning about it. I don't really know too much about it, um, to be really honest. But uh, they've got enhanced fog with volumetric effects, uh, and I have seen this when when I was playing it. You know, the fog and all that looks really, really good. Um, that kind of thick, realistic fog that you get, uh, you know, with some some more recent games, right? Uh, HDR sky support. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's night in a minute. It'll go to daytime, hopefully, during the during the stream. Um, but you've got a nice HDR sky, um, which isn't going to come across too much on YouTube if you if you're not watching it on an HDR display. Um, like I'm streaming this on Mixer, and I think that has HDR, but I don't really know. Um, so you might not really be able to tell. Um, you know, if it, <clears throat> if you're watching the stream or watching on YouTube, I guess. Um, there's uh, new materials and shaders for content. Um, yeah, so basically, the, the, some of the um, different materials um, for everything in the game is new. Um, you know, and, and looks looks a lot better. Um, you've got a improved VFX. And high resolution textures, um, UV corrections, and unified texel density among objects. <laughs> so lots of um, you know uh, advanced techniques for making the objects you know in the world um, like everything you see here has been kind of redone um, to look a lot better as well. So I mean, it all adds up to a much better get game. Like usually your remasters, um, a lot of them are kind of a standard kind of reskin and up res of the existing game. Um and then you get the remakes like Resident Evil two remake or Resident Evil three or uh Final Fantasy seven, right? And they've been fully remade from the ground up and they look like uh twenty twenty games. This here is still kind of the old game, um, made to look a whole lot better. So it's somewhere in the middle of those kind of two extremes. Um, but they've done a tremendous amount of work to really bring it up. And I really love this game, so I'm really happy that they did this. Really want it in my collection, um, you know, considering that... Uh, you know the the new generation. If it, like I'm playing it on Xbox One X, so if I then went and um, got a se Xbox Series X, then it's going to be still playable there because it's fully backwards compatible. And I do want to keep this game in my collection, so I'm really happy that they've made a version of it that looks a lot, lot better than um, than it originally did. Right? I've um, got enhanced foliage. Um, custom solution to add visual variety to buildings. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of get what they're talking about. It's like the buildings look a lot more varied. Because um, like a lot of last gen games, it was like copy paste in the, in the buildings. It was the same houses over and over again kind of thing. Um, so they're able to vary it up a bit more. Uh, reflections tech as well. Uh, and environments, volumetric fog implementation, two key components, ambient component as uh, a dynamic real-time calculation, receives color information from the directional light. So yes, yeah, so this is kind of talking about the lighting, like the street lights and that here, right? Um, we're going to drive about a bit and um, <clears throat> it should like move to daytime so we can get a look at that as well. Um, but night looks really impressive, especially with the kind of neon lights and everything all lit up you see them lights over in the distance um, and, and on that tower block over there looks really really good um, and there's some more stuff about um, about lighting 
um, uh, you know, directional component lights, ambient occlusion. Um, again, I don't really know what <laughs> fitness means, um, but it just makes it look, you know, this is all the stuff that they do. Um, I, I, I've just seen that car gone by there, and you can see the way the light changes, the, the shadows and stuff changes. Um, that's all to do with that, right? If you go back and play the old one, you probably wouldn't see that. It's it's all these things just make it better, but like in motion. Like when I when I start playing this, right, it doesn't. It's not as immediately, um, you know, it doesn't jump out at you so much. Um, like, but you know, when you stop and look at it and appreciate it, right, you can see all the work. Um, but like, if you were to go back, like if if, well, if I was to go and play the 360 version, it would kind of immediately jump out the, you know, the difference. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, on a character art, um, all primary NPCs, so all the main story characters, uh, are completely remade from scratch. Um, actually, I'll get out of my car so we can have a look. And this is my, you know, main protagonist and created character. I'm trying to stand in the light. I'm probably going to get run over because people don't care in this game. They just kind of run you over. Um, so, yeah, so all the character models, he's all been fully remade. And we'll get to some of the other characters. Um, we go and do a mission in a minute. Um, <clears throat> and secondary characters have also been reworked. Um, while well, remaining true to the original, um, as with the primary NPCs, they are based on high poly models. So yeah, so all of the people in the world basically have been, you know, kind of reworked and or redone to um, to, um, to you know to make it much more. Well, I mean, it wouldn't make sense if the world and everything looks a lot better and the character models still look last gen. It would be kind of jarring. So they've redone all the character models. Uh, also, vehicles have been reworked um, and all improved. So they, they look... I mean, the cars look fantastic in this. They really do. Um, so, and, and like, the reflections and everything. When you're driving about, especially in the sunlight, you see the kind of reflections on the cars and that. Looks so good. Uh, and the weapons, the weapons have been remade from scratch as well. Uh, VFX has had 395 improvements. The majority of VFX have been reworked with new higher resolution textures and improved materials. Um, so there you go guys. So that, that's all of the kind of visual improvements. We're going to drive about, I'm going to go do a mission. Um, and then we'll see it kind of transitioning from night into day um, as we're playing. Uh, and I'll continue to talk about, about how all of that looks, right? And we'll also, by doing missions, we'll be talking about like gameplay and, and sound and all the other things that we'd cover in a normal uh, traditional review, right? So I'll just bring up the... Uh, missions um this if you haven't played it like it, um well not this game specifically but like the f i want to say the first saints row um i just recently read steve perrin's actually i'll give him a shout out like steve perrin my mate he's on a uh, little bits of gaming.com and he just did like a retrospective on the whole saints row series um you know and and, and it, all the things that each game sort of done, and I'm sure he said the first game was like the first one, the first game uh, ever, right? Before GTA did it, it was the first game to give you a smartphone in the game. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you so you've got a smartphone, and it's like, this is your, like, apps, if you like, you know, and a lot of games do that now, like, I've recently been playing Watch Dogs 2, that, that uses that, um, so I, th I think it's a really cool way to basically do the menu, it's the same kind of, um, 
function um, but you know just having a smartphone just makes it a bit more current and um, and relative to you know real life in 2020 even you know um, Shandy, it's time. Just tell me where to be. We're meeting at the penthouse. I am gonna kill that son of a bitch. Don't worry. He won't get away this time. You bet your ass he won't. Oh. God. <laughs> See, this is one of the shops. Friendly fires, your weapon shop, you know. So, the, the, even the shops have kind of humorous names, like the... Uh, like the mechanics is called uh, rim jobs, <laughs> you know. I am driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> of course, you know, I'm Scottish. So, like, I often make that mistake in games. It's me, I'm driving on the right side of the road, you know. Taking a moment just to kind of look round to show you some of the other areas, some of their graphics. I cannot see because I've lost my headlights. <laughs> so we'll take a look at actually what have I got equipped? I've got predator drones. Oh, I should have got the plumbing. This is, this is like, it's kind of like a, a ro rocket launcher, but it fires these little squids out. Um, and they land on people's head and make them dance. It's hilarious. <laughs> you know, my guy's dressed as a pimp. Um, it it's kind of tells you where the level of kind of maturity this game's at, and I just love it. Mm. I do have the dildo bat. <laughs> the penetrator. Brilliant. Look at the size of that thing. God. Mm. Let me just check. I've got an, yeah, I've got adult rated stream on, that's alright. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh. I meant to say, like, all of the the licensed soundtrack is here. Uh you know, all the songs are here. And you know, they haven't run out the license or anything um I've, I've turned it off because uh, youtube um you know here. i don't want to get get okay. claimed um but all the license songs that you coming. remember from the original are back oh i guess it plays music during cutscenes <laughs> oops I don't know if that bit's licensed or what, but you know what? Can't be helped. I, I turned the music off in the options. I had a bit of music during, don't worry about me. during that cutscene. Oh, it's daytime now. Pierce is going to moan at me for, for mucking about. We're taking out his whole fucking syndicate. I think we'll need to do a little more than kill one guy to do that. It just looks amazing. Like, really happy that they did this. I just love this game, man. See it looking like this is just Come on, he's a criminal oh, so good. It's gotta be on the top floor. It's like a rule. You think he's gonna be Alright, let's go and kill some people, shall we? We're killing everyone in there. Go on Shondi, get in. You sure the crew has the right address for our delivery? It's all taken care of. As soon as we make sure the loading dock is clear, they'll drive it in. How many times you gonna check that gun? How long? 
take us to get there? I was just asking. Save it for Lorenz goons. I have I can't remember how to. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to. The camera's a bit close. I'm trying to pull it out a bit. And I can't remember. Oh, that's shoot. Hang on. Oh, God, no. That's get out of the car, you maniac. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember where the camera button is. Oh, God. Always start messing about. It's always on stream as well. I'm my own worst enemy. I really am. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> hmm. I want to get my car back, but you know, I might have to steal another one, I guess. Oops. <laughs> I will steal this one, and then hopefully ours will be up ahead, I suppose. <laughs> it's always fun there. The hijacking animations in this. I oh, know. Oh well, like, don't fling your car away, or it'll despawn, I guess. <laughs> this one's not as bad, because it doesn't have a big spoiler on it. I'm trying to remember how to, like, change the camera angle. I'm sure you can go for first person in this, actually. Let's see. Let's have a look at the controls, it's annoying me now, sorry. We can have a little look at the options as well, because there's some visual and performance options in here that I want to go over anyway, right? So, <laughs> uh, I can't remember, how do you change the, how do you change the camera? Ah, I'm not going to dwell on it, because it's going to make my video boring, right? Oh, control schemes, that's the one, right. On foot driving controls. Oh, uh, that's the camera button. <coughs> right stick. Oh, oh no, that's just to look about. Change radio. Yeah. If you go to the display options, right, we've got HDR settings here. Um, you have film grain on or off, sharpening, motion blur, uh, and FPS lock. So, um, I think all the versions of the game try and hit. Like, they run it up to 60, right? But, like, Digital Foundry did. Know, base PS4 and Xbox One and they were kind of in the mid 40s or whatever right but um like Xbox One X um I think PS4 Pro unfortunately I think it was in the mid 40s as well Xbox One X runs at a mostly consistent 60 FPS with the lock off if you put it on it locks it to 30 I believe um and um uh, like base PS4 Xbox One runs at 1080p and uh, Pro and Xbox One X run at uh, 1440. Emily, turn that off, please. Turn that down. Um, it's my daughter playing the Switch beside me. <laughs> uh, mini map view, yeah, rotation of static, right? I think audio options are fairly more uh, sort of basic, but you've got some kind of performance options there. Um, and I've tried it. Like with the locked and unlocked FPS, I much prefer the unlocked uh, mode. Oh, and it feels really smooth. I haven't had any any issues with it. Uh, it feels great, it really does. Um, so it, it not only looks really good, but it also um, performs, you know, a lot better as well. God damn it! If you beat your horn, they don't even move. I was going to beat the horn. There you go. Alright, let's go.
say this kind of darker areas right um it might not come out so well on on youtube without you know hdr um i've had that before so it might look a bit dark for you um guys unfortunately there's not much i can do about that <laughs> But it's kind of difficult for people to demonstrate unless you've got the setup to like record HDR and and the person watching has to be on an HDR display, um, <clears throat> or else you know you can't really show off or gain HDR, you know. Oh yeah, this guy. Blooming Hulk. <laughs> Said and the clock's ticking. Why didn't we wait to do that until after we kill Loren? That's a really good question. We should move. What did you do? It wasn't me. It just stopped. It's quite a good mission to show off sort of internal. Uh, let me just grab a drink a minute, guys. Um, good mission this to show off the kind of internal um, visuals and stuff on the side of buildings. I like how he throws a grenade. <laughs> Just all the little things just make this game so funny. And Flamethrower guys, like. Oh god! No! One run. your own medicine mate Ooh.
vois. <rire> I guess he must have been still on fire um, after he died. Oh yeah, he blows up. We're on fire because we're next to him. It's like, what the hell are they screaming about when he's dead? <laughs> For his brutes, I am the master pattern, you see. Why are you still strung up if they already cloned your ass? The copies are flawed. They have my brawn, but not my brain. I can help you. The last time a big naked dude said he could help me, it did not end well. What could he do anyway? Those wires and shit are probably keeping him alive. Trust me, I'm still strong enough to kill Philippe. Some clothes, man? No time. Man, like I said, last time a big naked dude. <laughs> uh, I mean, this it's game, it, it just looks fantastic. Um, you know, if you love Saints Row the Third, then you know, I definitely recommend getting it. Um, £35 might seem a bit much. Um, for a remaster um, for disclosure I did get a free review copy um, but I'd have been happy like I would have went and you know bought this for £35 because um, I really love Saints for the third um, you know it, or if, if you're a newcomer to the series um, I'd say like like the missions right um, are 2011 missions so, you know, there's quite a bit of, like, repetition in there. Um, it's just, you know, old kind of open-world uh, game design sensibilities, right? And then, you know, we've come on a bit in the, in the last nine years in terms of mission variety and stuff like that. Um, but I think, you know, all of the humour and um, all the way it's kind of presented um, kind of elevates Saints Row the Third above... Um, some are looking older uh, open world games like that, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'd say if you're a newcomer, um, I'd still recommend it. But you know, just be aware that yes, this is an old game remastered, right? So it's gonna have a lot of older. Um, kind of uh, design choices like in the mission design right? the human body is nothing to be ashamed of unless you have insecurities I'm good hey man you got a Oop. name my name is Ole Kirlo so what did you do before you were uh, follow Oleg he's run about like a maniac for our friendship I never elaborate and it's time Just come on now you get up as long as you oppose the syndicate, you have nothing to fear from me. Works for me. Welcome to the Saints. You don't need to kill all of the office workers. Just get up, man. We've only got eight minutes. Lorenzo, <laughs> I'm not sure if that was just his AI or whether they did that intentionally just to troll people. <laughs> you never quite know with Saint Pro, you know. That's that's the thing with with all the visual improvements. Uh, in terms of gameplay, I mean, I'm sure they've probably tightened up the shooting everything because the shooting feels really good. And I'm pretty sure if I went and played the original, it wouldn't hold up quite so well. Um, because I've played other games of that kind of era, right? Like, Just Cause 2 being an example. Um, I played that, and the shooting felt quite bad. Um, you know, at the time, it felt really good. And um, we're just used to 
better. Um, so it definitely, like, the shooting feels great in this. Um, it really does. Um, some of the controls and the movement and all of that feels good, you know? Um, so there has been some improvements, I believe. Although it wasn't in my review notes there. It, that's what happens when I talk and not paying attention. <laughs> I'm gonna crush that son of a bitch. Leave it to me. I've got this one. Hurry it up. He's getting away. I don't know where I can't remember what I'm supposed to do yet. Yeah. I'm gonna crush that son of a bitch. Leave it to me. I've got this one. Hurry it up. He's getting away. Wait, what? I don't understand. <laughs> Knock this thing loose. I'm gonna crush that son of a bitch. Leave it to me. I've got this one. Hurry it up. He's getting away. Oh, I need to sh All right, okay. I'm a maniac, can I? I need to shoot that guy off. <laughs> you know, I got confused um, with, the, with Oleg, you know? <laughs> That's a bad guy, Blumen. Hulk. You lost to the best. I'm calling for your frenching. Get off my damn ball. Should have thought of a Belgian pancake joke. Time to blow this place to hell. I hate this place more than anyone, but it would be folly to destroy Philip's research without seeing what we can harvest from it. We came here to send a message, didn't we? Why not keep the building for yourself? Your choice here, boss.
it's time we went back home and buried Johnny. There we go, guys. It was a little look at one of the missions. Um. When I left Stillwater for the Senate, I vowed never to forget my hometown roots. This cutscene will just jump over and dig into some news violence. that I've got. It is my Ooh. The pod. I can get my phone to work anyway. Um. Come on, you. <laughs> what the? Whoever this crew is, they flow pretty damn good. They're kill Ben's thugs. Kill who? Here's the syndicate's attack. What work. he did to Johnny's funeral. That's over the fucking limit. He doesn't care about rules of engagement. Yeah, no rules? I can work yeah. with that. Yeah. You're not ready to fight the syndicate. Watch us. Just relax, Shandy. All right, big man, what do you got? There are others who hate the Syndicate as much as you do. I will take you to them. Can you believe this? On my husband's bridge! No, 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 I will not come down. I am heading back to the hill. Book an emergency session. God damn it, this is war. Back fashion. Back fashion. Or you to All right, who's first? Picking up a girl named Kenzie Kensington. The Deckers are holding her on a barge on the river. What's her name? You might be picking up a little bit of my, my daughter's kind of running. She was kicked out. So we're getting running commentary on Animal Crossing as well. <laughs> you get it all here at the X-Power podcast. I'm not jealous. Who said jealous? That's all on you, girl? Oh, my God. Flirt later. Why was Kenzie booted? Ola didn't give me all the details, but he made it sound like Kenzie was about to out the syndicate, so the Decker set her up for a fall. Oh. I hope she's worth the hassle. Only one way to find out. We got to get on that barge. Right, guys. Uh, so, I'm uh, just going to take a moment to talk about our sponsors. This show is brought to you by nxtech.co.uk. Uh, you can go there for all your gaming and tech needs. Uh, they sell all the consoles. Um, loads of uh, Xbox One, PS4 and uh, Switch games and consoles. Um, sell all uh, different types of technology, laptops, um, you know, uh, speakers. They've actually got some really good deals on JBL um, Bluetooth speakers right now. Um, you might go over there and check out. I've actually got a 5% discount code. If you enter X Power Pod uh, at the checkout on the on the JBL speakers, uh, you get an extra five percent off. 
Um, they've got loads of deals, like two for sixty pounds and things like that. Uh, you might want to go and check out um, some other deals that I picked up over there. Was um, they have uh, Division Two um, on Xbox? I think it is for nine ninety nine. Um, they're games like uh, Middle of Shadow of War. You know, can all the games with really good prices. Like, I think that was five ninety nine for that one. Um, and they've got kind of more recent releases as well. Um, so uh, if you want to go and check them out. A um, little bit of housekeeping for you. I've also been reviewing Maneater. Uh, new shark RPG. as uh, developed by Tripwire Interactive. Also published by Deep Silver. And it's available now for 34 99 as well. On Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Um, I believe Switch version is coming also um for that um you know I've, I've, my full reviews up on a youtube channel if you go and type in uh x power podcast manny a review uh you should be able to find it um i the tldr version of it right is uh, <clears throat> too long didn't read <laughs> you know, if you're not down with the cool kids um yeah, I thought it was a really fun game, uh, you know, playing as a shark, so much fun. Um, I'm 100% it in like 15 hours, um, so it gives you an idea of the amount of content there. I thought it was the right amount of content, it wasn't too much, it become repetitive. Mission structure was a bit repetitive, um, but yeah, if you want to see my full review of it, uh, you can go and watch it on the YouTube channel. Um, so... Now I'm going to dig into some news um, as we run here. Uh, going to go get on this boat. So uh, the Mafia Remake Trilogy was announced. Uh, this is kind of the, the year of the remake. Uh, so we've had Final Fantasy VII Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Saints Row the Third Remastered, and uh, Mafia. Uh, so Mafia 2 is available right now, the remastered version on Xbox One, PS4, PC. If you already owned uh, Mafia 2 on Steam, um, not sure about other platforms it released on originally, but um, I know if you own it on Steam, you'll get the ram remastered version for free. Um, also, Mafia 3, if you bought it originally, you get uh, the definitive edition. Um, so they've done some work to improve the game and uh, you also get all of the DLC included um, so if you already own Mafia 3 on uh, Xbox One, PS4 or PC you will get the uh, Divinity Edition upgrade uh, completely free of charge um, if you haven't got them already um, the pricing is like twenty four ninety nine for Mafia 2 um, I want to say $34.99 for Mafia 3. Um, yeah, and then they announced Mafia 1. Now, Mafia 1 is getting a complete remake from the ground up, but that's not coming until the 28th of August, um, which seems a bit odd. I mean, perhaps because of COVID and things, um, maybe they had to put, put that back because it's going to require you know, a lot more work than... Um, than the two and three because it's obviously the first one releasing on like PS2, um, <clears throat> so you know obviously needs more work bringing it up today. Maybe, you know making a full ground up remake of it, um, but that's one that's coming out. You can buy the Mafia trilogy, it includes all three of the Mafia games, all the DLC uh, at fifty pounds. Um, or if you just want to wait for the Mafia 1 remake, it's going to be 34.99 for that one. So, uh, <clears throat> another piece of news that's popped up is... Uh, well, I say popped up. It's been there for a while, but like his predictions have been coming true. So, Jeff Grubb uh, on, from uh, VentureBeat, he leaked the Summer Games Fest. Um, so, <clears throat> May 7th, inside xbox he did all this before they actually happened um, and all these predictions have been coming true right so he, may 7th inside xbox may 12th he's got uh underscore 
man. And then a lot of people thought that was Batman, right? He's kind of trolling a little bit. Turned out it was Birdman. Because uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 got announced. Uh, June <coughs> 2nd, he's got Mel Gibson picture. Uh, so we don't know what that's going to be. Um, so we'll find out on the 2nd of June. Uh, and he's got 4th of June, State of PlayStation. So I'm just taking that to mean that's when we're going to get the big PS5 reveal event. Um, and have a look at some of the games. And uh, we've got June 6th to 8th, Gorilla Collective. That one's now officially announced. Uh, Gorilla Collective is a showcase for kind of indies and kind of smaller developers uh, to showcase their games, and that's coming between uh, the 6th and the 8th of June. Um, the Steam Games Festival Summer Edition has also been announced. That's uh, June 9th to 14th. And then uh, June the 10th, Xboxing Day. Um, so Xbox have said, you know, they had the May Inside Xbox were kind of focused. They said third parties, and a lot of people took that to mean like big AAA third parties like Batman, um, you know, like, I don't know, Star Wars Battlefront 3 or something like that, you know? Um, but it was more focused on smaller developers that are making games like uh, Bright Memory Infinite, The Ascent, um, oh, The Medium, that was the other game, that's from the Blair Witch team that's doing that, um, and a, a, a lot of other games, so they had bigger games, quote unquote, like Madden, um, Dirt 5 is there as well, looking really good, um, but 10th of June, uh, Jeff Grubb says it's Xboxing Day, and Xbox have said in June they're going to have an event focused on the hardware, so we're going to look a uh, better look at the console and some of its features. Uh, we know the specs now, but we don't really know uh, a lot of its kind of unique features, so we should be getting a look at that on the 10th of June. And then uh, June 11, Cyberpunk 2077, they've been, you know, CD Projekt Red. They've announced that uh, they're going to do uh, a stream on Cyberpunk. They're going to get a fresh look at the game. Uh, June 11th, EA Play Live. Again, that's been announced. So that's their E3 style video that they're going to do. Um, the 11th of July, we've got Warframe Tenicon 2020. So, you know, if you, if you like Warframe, uh, we're going to get a look at what's coming in the future for that um, and then oh July the 12th Ubisoft E3 thing and they've announced that now it's going to be called Ubisoft Forward and they're going to be you know having uh, a stream to look at all their new games coming out uh, they've announced Assassin's Creed Valhalla but maybe get an update on like Watch Dogs Legion um, maybe the next Far Cry you know, I'd like to see them doing something cool with Nintendo again. Uh, like we've got Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Something, you know, unique like that um, would be fun to see from Ubisoft. Um, of course, I'll have Just Dance and all that good stuff. Uh, and then July, but he's, he's just put question marks for the Xbox Game Studios reveal. Um, and I like, he put this up before and he just was announced so we know the <coughs> the bigger Xbox showcase of their first party games and it's widely believed a lot of the like big third party games will be there as well um, although first party is going to be more of a focus in July but we don't know the date yet and neither does Jeff Grubb um, so but that is coming August 24th, Gamescom opening night live. Um, so that's going to be the end of Summer Games Fest. And then we roll it basically straight into Gamescom. Um, so for the rest of the year, we're just going to have like game announcement after an announcement. <laughs> like every couple of weeks, there's going to be something big. Uh, so it's going to be exciting stuff. Uh, September, maybe, says Nintendo Direct. Um, so, like, it's come up that, you know, Nintendo. Aren't going to be doing a direct and 
stuff. But I think now they've said that they're going to be uh, doing videos focused on just like one particular game. Um, so we'll maybe get a couple of announcements for them. Um, they've said they've been quite heavily impacted by COVID and stuff. Um, but we'll see. Um, also, Minecraft Dungeons uh, comes out on Tuesday. Around this, so I wasn't paying attention, looking at my phone, reading through the news and that. I was not paying attention. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah, Minecraft Dungeons comes out to, well, I'm, I'm recording this on a Monday, so it comes out tomorrow, uh, Mojang, uh, just pop a video, it's got a, a new logo, um, put a link in the description, um, there's also, like, Minecraft, Minecraft, Microsoft, Minecraft Dungeons reviews are now up, uh, so you can go and look at that. Um, I'm gonna be trying to review it at some point. Um, but you know, I'm not. Uh, not big enough to get a, <coughs> an early review code from Microsoft. <laughs> not yet. Um, but I'm looking forward to jumping in and out with my mates. Uh, looks really good. Uh, the Xbox Series X June event. Uh, goes to look at the console and features. There's a um, an editorial up on um, dualsockers.com um, I'll put a, a, a link in the description um, but that was the, the headline Xbox Series X June event it's a closer look at the console and features so like, if you want to go dualsockers.com and just find it um, it's quite easy to find um, they were just talking about like what they're hoping to see and stuff like that and I thought it was a good read so I put it in here and another recommending viewing, uh, InXL devs have released a new dev diary for Wasteland 3. Uh, they're offering a good look at gameplay and a deep dive on the game's features. Um, they've also just released a second developer diary and the game is looking really, really good. Um, so if you want to go and, go and check that out, uh, I'd recommend it um, if you're interested in Wasteland 3 at all. So we'll just we'll go and do this next mission before we wrap up. Um, it is really quite dark. It's quite quite difficult to see. I'm trying to get on the back of it. Stocked up an ammo like Kensington? Yep. You don't seem that excited about being rescued. I'm waiting to see if you were sent to kill me. Girl's pragmatic. I like her. <coughs> I love <laughs> Kenzie. <laughs> you don't look like feds. We heard that you know some people who hate the sympathy as much as we do. Well, the DeWinters are keeping Zemos at safe word. What? The DeWinters are the twin sisters that run prostitution in Steelport. Zemos was their competition, so the sisters locked him up. And Safe Word is just a BDSM club that caters to various acts of perversion. The name comes from... Ah, we got it. Mine's Teacup. 
I'll get her out of here. Have fun at the gimp show. So, there we go, guys. I'm going to wrap things up here. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Just to answer your phone when I was talking. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you did, leaving a like really helps us support the channel. And, um, you know, if you do enjoy the content uh, and you've been here for a while, you might want to subscribe. Um, and again, that really helps us out well, and it's much appreciated. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I will catch us again soon. All right, bye, guys. Bye.